What is up, everybody? Welcome to Rob Squad Movie Reactions. Hey, we're in the home theater tonight. We are so happy you guys joined us. I am specifically really excited about today's video. Before we get into all that, just want to introduce ourselves. You are here on Movie Mondays and Film Fridays with your boy Jay. Hey, y'all. You're also here with your old Amber. Now, if there was a genre for Jay, it is definitely sports. You guys know that. I've seen a lot of comments. It's been a minute since Jay has got a sports movie. Let's give him what he wants. And I've seen suggestions come through for this movie. I just really don't know anything about it. Y'all know, and I, I said at the very beginning of the channel, like, sports is what my life's been based around. You know, all I ever listened to, and it bugs them. All I've ever listened to since I was a kid, like, sports radio, watched ESPN, really nothing else. Nothing I love, else. <laughs> nothing else. I love sports movies. And today we have one that I've actually seen, and I seen it in the suggestion. I was like, you know what? That would maybe be a good one for the channel, and I think it'd be a really cool one to show Amber as well. So today we are watching Invincible. And for those of you that have seen it, I love this movie. I'm not gonna say too much about it because I don't want to spoil it mm -hmm. for you, but it does have Mark Wahlberg in it. See, I'm so uh, don't, don't, don't get tell too, me don't that. Get too you pumped didn't now. Tell me that. Okay, so now, <laughs> now your girl. You is see the whole so, mood change. Yeah, everything that just changed everything. Well, the oh, last you are <laughs> up and happy now. Mark Wahlberg just does that for you. But the last um, sports movie you watched was Rudy, and Rudy was really, really good. So I'm excited to see what we're going to get from this one. I mean, other than the Karate Kid and Rocky, I'm mm. going to say the last sports movie we watched was Rudy. So I'm excited to get another one. And some of y'all are going to be like, why don't you do something besides football? Y'all know, your boy's a football coach. That's just, that's just my thing. So I'm excited to watch Invincible today. Before we get started, make sure you guys don't leave here without liking the video, hitting that subscribe button down below, and turning on that post notification bell so you don't miss a movie Monday or a film Friday. And as we always tell you before we get started, grab your favorite drink, your favorite snack, and you like it. let's watch some Invincible and uh, you're, you're Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, <laughs> let's get it. And watch them from Amazon Prime, as always. That's where we watch all of our movies from. Literally everyone so far. Hmm? Yeah. Disney film. Like the pine trees lining the winding road. I've got. <laughs> oh, I love this song. Like the singing bird in the croaking toad. My mind's went blank on who sings this. Jim Kershaw. Yeah. Huh? Is it Jim Croce? Is it? Not See, yeah. Who is this? See, I'm trying to figure out like why I'm drawing a blank who sings this because I, I like this song so much. Because I also think of America, Horse With No Name. Mm -hmm. me down the highway. Never realized I'd heard it from this. I never realized I've heard it. One of those cold cities. Oh, Bengals. God, it's been a while. I don't remember this, like this part. I don't remember the Bengals being involved in this movie. Yeah, it's in Philly. It's where? Philadelphia. Oh, them old school Bengals uniforms are hideous. Look at the Browns. Still our boys, Tommy. Not this year, Tommy. Not in this time. Why was that me at OU games this year? Mm. <laughs> After we lost two back to back. Huh? Game's not over yet. Get back down easy. Is that serious? Oh, Eagles fans are like rowdiest. I guess I don't know each NFL team. In the entire culture. league. No stage four. That's the law, pal. That's the law. I see videos. Fans throwing beers at people at tailgates and stuff. Them and Bills fans. Maybe we'll all be millionaires. <laughs> So he's saying fat chance. <laughs> it's brutal. You say brutal. That's just that's just guys. <laughs> just out there playing like street football. <laughs> Kill that guy. Why you try again, Byron first, Pete? Why don't you show your mouth? <laughs> he said I'm gonna kill him. He said, why don't you try getting by him? Alright, let's do the one where Vince kind of runs by everybody on one. That's the play. <laughs> Ready? Right. Well, tell me why you're late. My car's in a bad mood. <laughs> you know that feeling. God, for the past two months, my car. God. <laughs> she has been in a mood. Go, go, go. Oh. Dang. 
See, it's like, it's like there's no rules. You're just taking shots at each other. I like it. This is getting me amped up. Look at this small little space that they're playing in. Good news. <laughs> no, we're not friends if you hit me like that. He's gonna go chase him down. <laughs> they all are gonna have to go See home that, and take an ice bath or something. That would just be so much fun. <laughs> oh, that'd be so much fun. Who else lived in a little shack like this in Philly? That's great, Vince. We're out of work and you're playing games. Oh no. So she's mad because they need money and he's out playing football. He's out playing football. Okay, and he's also like a teacher. Okay, Mark Wahlberg shows up to substitute your class. On your best behavior. Molly, may I help you? I'm sorry, it must be a mistake. I thought the so funny. Y'all seen her change as soon as I mentioned Mark Wahlberg in this movie. <laughs> well, there was a mix up with the bill and they shut my phone off, but uh. Oh, his phone's off. See, that's the difference. In Oklahoma, we're hard up for teachers. Barely any. Ain't nobody trying to do summer school. Man. Think he brought his surfboard? Coaching this. Surfboard? Beach boy? Philadelphia. Right? <laughs> beach Boy Records. Winning in excellence. So he must be from the beach or something. He must be from warm. Cali. Yeah, because they coached at UCLA. Mm -hmm. Want to turn up to two? Can't run a tab. And you're like making him turn up the TV. The Philadelphia Eagles will hold open tryouts. That's how you know your team's bad. Is it? That doesn't happen anymore. A professional team. No, heck no. I was about to say, that sounds unheard of. So shoulder pads, here's your chance to play in the NFL. Really? I guess four wins wasn't so... Why would they need to do that? Because they were so bad. Hey. What? You're faster than half those guys anyway. <laughs> you got me. Yeah, hey Vince. Finally at the 40. At the 30. At the 20. Your great uncle, or whatever it was, that was a part of the replacement refs in the yeah. NFL. He was on the bloopers for the calls. <laughs> on Sports Center, not yeah. top 10. Top 10 worst calls. <laughs> yeah, I remember when all those refs quit. That was probably unheard of. She left. She took the furniture. Oh. That stings. Oh, he tore up the whole Literally apartment. Everything's gone. She just left a note and took everything and left. Can you imagine how he's feeling? That there aren't any sprinkler systems on the East Coast. To that Carol King playing. Maybe a little. Mm -hmm. A lot. Just trying to get people excited, that's all. Right, to seriously think you're going to find some like, NFL quality that hasn't really been training or nothing, just calling them off the streets? Hey. Sweetheart, if you could cook Italian, I'd marry you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get out of here. <laughs> so I bet when you were little, you had no idea the soundtrack to this movie. No idea. But every song that I've heard on here has been so good so far. Hey. The same you probably weren't even paying attention to it. I was about it. to say that, yeah. <laughs> My cousin. That's his cousin. Is a New York Giants fan. Oh, Go Giants! <laughs> From something called the NFL Draft. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> well. What do you mean, Joe? We don't even play Pittsburgh this year. Petey's right. Yeah, why not? Your old lady ain't gonna stop you. Oh. Uh, why do? Why don't you get out of here, Johnny? 
Come on, Johnny. Read the room, man. Oh, no. We would have to meet outside for that one. He just needs to find some work, that's all. So, there must be a job shortage, too, because there's a lot of people saying they need to find work. Tommy, I mean, I played one year of high school ball. Ain't gonna oh, I've only played one year of high one school ball? Year. See, I didn't even catch that when I seen it the first time. Even if you're down there for one hour, man, you're down there. He's being so encouraged by his friends to go, to go after this. Go set him up, Joe. I also want to see Philadelphia because, like, when we got to see New Orleans, we got to see like the older cities. Mm -hmm. I thought it was it felt so historical. It just felt so cool to see. I want to see Big Ben and mm -hmm. the Rocky uh, statue. Thanks. Seemed like it was hard for him to ask mm -hmm. for that hundred. Man can only take so much failure. So he's not encouraging him to go. Hello, Philly fans. I'm here. Wow, look how many showed up. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine? Open trial. Would you have showed up? Now, what brings you out here today, oh, no. sir? You want to be an eagle, baby? Yeah. <laughs> how many of these are just fans that want to be? See the film. Out here. Well, Wade, two years high school football, varsity. A varsity. Eagle fight on the road to Didn't yeah. need to say anything else. I should have been a kicker because my I couldn't have gone out there. My knees are too bad. First of all, he's wearing a cape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's making it. Like I'm automatically picking him just for the courage that it took to put the cape on and come out. You need those kind of people on your team. <laughs> you know what? He showed up in the. Don't know, how old is this man out there? <laughs> this looks terrible. Nah, this is, this is stupid. This is more stupid than I'm used to. He <laughs> said this is too stupid. <laughs> more stupid this, than he's used to. Yeah, this would be so bad. Two or three hours. <laughs> Story. See boys at camp. Facts. He's coming there and turn that thing around. Only you will. Let's all work together Oh, cape's coming off. Come on, come on, let's go together. 5'9". 5'9", oh my goodness. So slow. You're running faster than a 5'9". Excuse me, was that supposed to be a compliment or not the a way compliment. you said it? That was a compliment. <laughs> I think there was a different way to say that. The could have came across better. I was saying he's slow. Yeah, I guess Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> Re rephrase it next time. He got out of there. Throw him a few. Was that in slow motion or is that my imagination? I wish they would have said it's time. Can I please let these guys go? Yeah. Thank go on. <laughs> Mad like they thought they was really gonna make it. Every single one of them. But he was doing really good. I mean, they got great angles. Great, give me a break. Well, that's the coach. How long have you been having trouble with this? Since I bought it. <laughs> no, not really. It's a four five. Oh shoot. Did he say he was 30 earlier? Oh my gosh. I four, thought I heard somebody say 30. 4 or 5 at 30? There wasn't a ship of fools. Fight! Yeah. Fight. They started with the man in the cave. <laughs> that player by no surprise. College ball. Oh, you Ooh. must be kidding me! <laughs> he didn't even say nothing to nobody. <laughs> So they found one person. Problem hitting a girl. <laughs> she called Petey a girl. Spicy. <laughs> Any giant. Dangerous game, Johnny. 
See, if a female says she likes sports, every man would be like, name somebody. Yeah. What happened in 1989 at the Super Bowl? Oh, no. Chip game in 56, 58, 59, 61, 60. Okay. All America wide receiver, Oklahoma. Led the Eagles to the champ. Oh, you. Do you really remember stats of like who they had to beat to get to like the Super Bowl? Our Super Bowl run, yes, I remember okay. the stats because it's the first time in yeah years and years. You talking about the one you shed tears over? <laughs> I wonder if his ex-wife heard that announcement. Which would have been silly. But he just got invited. He he just got to go through a lot. So that's still a big deal. One out of everybody. Dude with a cape would have made a great mascot, though. Mm. It's not like I'm gonna be making the team. Don't talk like that. You go out there. I feel like he is telling himself it's like a fluke in his head. Richie, I let you walk home at night in South Philly wearing that. Come on. <laughs> yeah, wearing a Giants shirt for sure. Vince Papali. Oh, well, thanks. People want to know who you are, Vince. All we need is five. Dang, they came that fast to find him and get a new story. And perhaps future professional football player with the Philadelphia Eagles. Somebody's using the restroom in the background. <laughs> they kicked him in the rear. He about to, he's about to go on the kegs. Mm -hmm. Besides the fact that I was born in New York. <laughs> it just kind of happens. Not much choice, yeah. That's why I like bartending. It's like I'm back home listening to my brother's art. <laughs> He doesn't have a TV. Mm -mm. Call Pardon me, Miss Spaghetti. Do you think maybe I could watch your TV just for a few minutes? Oh. <laughs> Minnie, no that's you. Tale, folks, that's she feeding him. Instead of a slipper, right here in Philadelphia. Oh my God, my neighbor's famous. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't UCLA anymore. These are the toughest fans there are. They threw oh, snowballs at Santa Claus. <laughs> Are you that wild in Philadelphia? It's like in your like Philadelphia like this. This looks so like blue collar. Mm -hmm. Just hard working people. So many holes in the wall. More. He got home and decided no. I need more. Look at that. Probably trying to get in good shape for the NFL. Because that little field they were playing street football on is not the same size. I'm drinking them brewskis. You do good out there, okay? He has so many people rooting for he's him. Got, he's got some awesome friends. Is that the locker room? Yeah. training camp locker room just stripped down to the bare bones there's his name that's big p Polly. they said it was wrong they spelled it wrong see nobody he's not even acting like he's gonna be there for a long time but shoot just having your last name on a mm -hmm. locker it's spelled wrong <laughs> getting to you can spell money however you want to <laughs> and getting to put on an nfl helmet That feeling would be amazing. Now he's got to get to know the players, too. I wonder if they're going to show him respect since he's getting the NFL a way different way than they did. You ready for this? It's so hard for me to answer your questions. and not, mm -hmm. It's so hard for me to answer your questions, not to answer your questions. Mm -hmm. We are going to shake the rust out of these shoulder pads. And I don't care what your story is. Veteran. Six weeks of two a days. Three and a half, two, three and a half hour sessions. Did you hear they were counting? One, two, three, seven. You're doing jumping jacks, I think. Get that helmet back on. What do you think this is? I bet it gets really hot in those helmets. 
Yeah. Especially like when you first start camp and you go so long without wearing a helmet, it feels mm-hmm. heavy. I would not want to. I would not want to wear one. I don't like being hot or cold. <laughs> Be just right, like Goldilocks. <laughs> I bet it's hard coming in as a new coach too, because he has to make sure they're good. Look at that white boy run! Look at him go. That old man just made you look bad! Right, he's gonna yell at him. Oh, I remember this part right here. It's the first day of camp. Might want to settle down. They're trying to tone him down. Mm -hmm. Ones who are actually gonna make this team. Nobody's being positive. I don't like that. Yeah, he was just out there torching them. Yeah. Ooh, she's cold blooded, huh? Dang, that's the note she left him. Ooh, wee, honey. That's terrible. Oh, that's a giant shirt. Were you trying to get me killed here? So how'd it go? Oh. You didn't get him out of the giant I didn't shirt. look at the logo. I was just looking at the shirt. <laughs> she was right, old man. You ain't going nowhere. Why are y'all so mean? I thought teammates were supposed to be nice to each other. Not all teammates like each other. Get up. Come on. I, on I wouldn't be friends with my teammate if they were mean like that to me. Oh, especially during camp. Oh, that fall Why, because everybody's trying to stand out? That, and you get tired of going against the same guys for two months in a row. Y'all walk around like peacocks? It's hot. Oh, there's always a ton of fights in fall camp. What does say? Single. <laughs> there she wasn't there. Sorry. They were married for five years. And it's left that savage he note. Left him with a note like that. As much as he could, but, you know, had to pay the bills. Took a medical. Sounds like he was by himself a lot. Cardinals, which won them the championship. 7 nothing. She knows her football. She knows her football. Yep. <laughs> but, heck, when you grow up with five brothers, I'm, I'm sure mm -hmm. you hear a lot. Just... I grew up with two brothers, so I feel like she's heard a lot of cuss words. <laughs> Coach wants to see you. Bring your playbook. Is that bad? Why is that bad? I mean, you gotta turn it, you're getting cut, you gotta turn in your playbook. Oh, they're not going over plays. <laughs> so that's like the knock you don't want. Mm hmm. They call that guy right there it's, uh, the Reaper. The Reaper. Because when the Reaper knocks on the door, you're done for. So are they just wait? He's packed up, he's waiting to get his knock? Mm hmm. Because in the NFL, like, start a training camp, you start with, like, 100 plus. Then you cut. Oh, no. Then you cut it down to 75. And then you got to cut it down to 53 for your final main roster. Oh. He walked right past. He walked past. He's still waiting on somebody. He has made it past the first round of cuts. The part-time bartender. So, like, I feel like. The city gets to be a part of it. Mm hmm It's one of the city's own. Mm hmm What you doing in here? I'm not supposed to run all this stuff. That stuff protects you. It's there for a reason. Oh, see, he's not used to pads, huh? So he's saying he can be faster without... No, see, those are some big men. They have, I, they yeah, I may keep those pads on. Linebacker pads on them. There he goes. That was good. Oh, oh, goodness. Get up, Vince. They were talking about another dude about to get cut. Mm -hmm. Feels like there was a lot to be said in that one nod. <laughs> Who was striking? Uh, the factory workers. That's Chase Dave in Philly. Anybody ask him? Drop down in the comments, y'all. What is the best cheesesteak place in Philly? So when we come, 
your boy can get one. You really think a nice looking girl from New York is gonna come back? Why is he speaking? When all this is over and done, nothing. He's had a problem this whole time. I, I, yeah, he has to be going through something and doesn't want to see somebody else be great. Without a break. But yeah, you need some motivation. Look at that letter before mm -hmm. practice every single day. <laughs> God, there's steam coming out my ears. Hey, you're from Polly, right? Yeah. It's getting noticed. Oh. I guess you're still on the team, huh? Yeah, well, I have a lot more cuts to go. There's a lot more left. Mm -hmm. Did you get down to 50, 53? He said they started off for like 100. Yeah. Barely a month ago, I was with the wrong guy. You were married. We're not exactly the perfect match. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Dude's got a lot going on. He's got a lot to focus on. He just got out of a relationship, a marriage. You know, if he needs to take a couple steps back, let him take a couple Trying steps back. Trying to make back. an NFL team. Yeah. Vermeil's trying to mix things up. He's putting rooks with veterans, veterans with rooks. Oh, it was like a roommate situation, mm. like Brian's song now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a center. I hate everybody. <laughs> Is that you? Centers are just jerks most of the time. But they're super smart. Really? Super smart. They, ha they have to know a lot of what's going on in the field. <laughs> Yeah, lose the giant shirt hanging in my closet. <laughs> the giant shirt. Yeah, 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 lose that. But yeah, sinners are usually very, very smart guys. But do we need to kill the first 40 to find the last five? Fred! <laughs> Nutcracker, others. Okay, that was him saying, I've had enough. Hey, hey, we gotta feel it, Hmm. Oh, go let's go it ain't over that his roommate helped him read mm -hmm. the fingers oh yeah hi gentlemen Lowerfield. that wasn't good look a good look yeah no but he got him the first time <laughs> somebody helped him up at least we're starting to earn a little respect So it wasn't all bad? No, not all bad. That's so what it's like when I watch football with Jay. I'm like, so is yeah. that bad? <laughs> no, but you always tip your hat to guys like him who just bust their tail all the time. You need those guys. Just the way. <laughs> no week, same. Look at this whole city watching him. Well, let's just hope this isn't the beginning of a long season. Miami handing the Eagles their third straight preseason loss. Dang. That's his neighbor. Well, Vince Papali saw a noticeable drop in playing time as... Oh. Bringing their preseason record to 0-6. Oh. So preseasons, they're also still trying to yeah. beat out their roster. You know. Went to guess it on his dad's porch. I just been kidding myself, Pop. I don't need some hack from... Why is he not believing himself so far? He needed a football player, but only me. He just feels like he doesn't belong. Because mm -hmm. he said he didn't play college ball mm -hmm. either. That's what's going to make tomorrow hard. And he's got all of South Philly on his back. Mm -hmm. Didn't mean that I wasn't. <laughs> That's a good part. Mm -hmm. I also love this because it's like, even when we're adults, there's still moments where we just, like, I call my mom. Mm. I call my mom. I can lean on my mom whenever I need to. So I, I like, but that moment was special. He knows that he can go sit on his daddy's stoop when he's having a bad day. And I'm going to go sit at my mama's table and give me a good meal if I'm having a bad day. Samson. Oh, they're trying to decide between two people for the last spot. A good share of the veterans don't even like him. He's got heart. I don't know why the veterans don't like him. Hey! Remember us? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Remember us? Yeah. During football season, coaches are gone. 
I was hardly ever. I can't imagine an NFL head coach traveling. Hey, isn't that your decision? It's it's all up to him. He's the head man. What was it that you used to say to your kids at Hillsdale High? The character is tested when you're up against it. So he started off as a high school coach at school. Mm. Wifey. Sometimes, it's, sometimes it's you just need you just need wifey's advice, man. <laughs> coach wants to see you. What is this gonna be bad? <laughs> Got ourselves a roster, hit it. <laughs> They're rude. Can we? Not really. I feel like he's been expecting the whole time to get sent home. Just want to thank you for sticking with me for this long, Coach. Did he just turn his playbook in? Why don't you hang on to that for a few more months? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I love underdog stories. Yep. I love underdog stories. Defying the odds. I jump. Sorry, I tried peep. Are you kidding me? His friends are saying I haven't jumped in. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so it, it was starting. He's messing it. <laughs> You're a freaking eagle, aren't you? <laughs> this is huge. This is bigger than when Tony Panolato came back from Nantes with the bronze. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> He's, yeah, you're buying. All right. I'm good now. <laughs> I'm good. I love this because friendships are so important. I got to see my best friend that I haven't seen her in two years today. And she's been my best friend since our first grade. And I just love seeing those moments where you're older and, you know, you're still, like, so happy supporting each other. Yeah. yeah. Johnny. Oh yeah, he's got that hater at the bar. Hope he don't speak up. Much better than us this year. Yeah, don't go give mine away, all right? <laughs> Kingy! <laughs> the son's an eagle. <laughs> I just love this. He said Steve Van Buren's yeah. got that was his favorite of all time. That's his dad. Ain't nobody can be his his favorite NFL player ever again because of his son. I love that. I love I love the relationships that we see in this movie. Mm -hmm. The support, you know, that's yeah. important. And I love seeing it. People believe in you, looking out for you. See, he bought Johnny a beer, but still being nice. Mm -hmm. I've decided you can pay me back anytime you want. <laughs> Remember he gave him a little loan at the beginning? He invested in him. He showed him I believe in you. Mm -hmm. Also, like, going to another city like that, the culture is, like, just what he just mentioned, mm -hmm. the strength in South Philly. It's the strength in numbers. Like, just the different cultural aspects that you don't expect is fun to see. What the heck is wrong with him? <laughs> Y'all just go psycho in the locker room like this is normal. Gotta get focused. That's <laughs> not focused. That's going to another level. You are literally about to go out there and run full speed and crash into other guys. Yeah, it doesn't sound like fun. You gotta get mentally See, I was focused. a runner. It was no physical contact. It was just like get lost in your imagination and go, baby. Simple. <sighs> But he's got that name on the back of that jersey, doesn't he? Cowboys. Ooh, they're going against them Cowboys. My brother is the biggest Cowboys hater in the entire world. It's like it's turned into a personality at this point. He hates the Cowboys that much. And we live like on the border of Texas, so it's like bad that he's that way. Well, he lives on the border of Texas. Our daughter also wants to be a Cowboys cheerleader, even though she don't care about football. She just likes the outfits, and she's a cheerleader. <laughs> she was amazed when she saw them. 
Okay, was Dallas good during this time though? It was like it was just mm. like their time. Okay. Yeah, Dallas. That everybody still talks about. Attack on three. One, two, three. Attack! They haven't won nothing in my lifetime though. Ah, no, that's a lie. When I was a little kid. Is he starting? Special, special teams. Special team. He cuts special teams. I know what go. that is. <laughs> and the first game of the regular season is underway. I was special teams coordinator. He's weaving in and out of there, ain't he? Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's horrifying. Oh. It's so big. That's so much. You gotta look like your peripherals. You gotta look behind you. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That is Listen, awesome. if somebody comes out of nowhere and hits me like that, uh uh, go ahead, call my mama. Call my mama. We're going home. Back out for you. You start playing football, you're gone. Dang. Straight into the point. <laughs> That's not how you want to start your NFL career, though. I like the way they shot this game. Know, it's it's cool. very, it feels like you're part of it, right? The angles. <laughs> They should shoot regular football games like this. That would be awesome. It would be better. I'm sure it'll probably come one day with the technology. Well, did you see when they made Toy Story into the football game that was actually live on TV? That was cool. My son watched it. Does preseason matter? No match at all for the Cowboys, but South Philly's Vince Papali. Oh, he's got nobody waiting for him when he gets off the bus. I don't do that much talking. You got this. These days I think a lot. Strikes are sad to see. That's a lot of people are out of jobs trying to get what they deserve. Oh, yeah. It's just too soon, at least for me. Here's your messy gussy. Yeah. I like her too because she's tough. Glad he said what he felt. That's important. Jordan High Logan the corner. Corner bites, first option to be karma. Okay, so hear me out. I thought the coach was the dad from Seventh Heaven. I don't know if you watched that. Because he has like kind eyes. But you know Modern Family, he had a small role in it. He was the one who like always kissed Claire. Modern Family is one of my favorite TV shows. I don't remember that. It was a very small role. Oh my heart. Oh, kids are looking up to him. Oh my gosh. And little South Philly kids. That's sweet. Because <laughs> to them, that's a hero. Yeah. I mean, to everybody, that's a hero. But I mean, a hero from specific their neighborhood. to them because they can see themselves mm. becoming that. Yeah, a hero from a neighborhood hero for yeah. real. And you know, when it's like a neighborhood or. You know, a demographic that they don't expect to be able to mm. make it or do those things, and then you see them have that hope. That's great. Don't oh, get mad. Out oh, there, getting mad. You can't really put your finger on Johnny. I know. He gives me Polly vibes from a yes, he does. Rocky. Mm -hmm. Kind of the jealous character, but at the same time, like the bartender said. Like, there's just a little bit of jealousy, or there's just a little bit of something in him. Like, he cares, but there's something in him. The rain hitting the roof. Uh-oh. You're nuts, you know that? So up, up, man? He is nuts. Yeah, he's nuts. He's nuts for doing that. I would that. not risk it. I like it though because this is where he started, right? That looks like so much fun though. I know, I still can't believe that they do it really tackling each other without pads though. Do you want to go out there and do that again? Yeah. That looks like so much fun. But I also think that shows you his character that, you know, he's in the NFL, but he's still willing to come mm -hmm. back and play with. You know, where he's from and where he started. Okay. Never met a Maxi. Never met. This is giving him some love. 
Because, like, he's on the line with him. He's like, I'm just like y'all. Like, mm. this is... And he is. He's an everyday guy. Yes. <laughs> and the fact that he threw it to John. I love that. <laughs> Even if this is your last game with the Eagles, win one for the boys in the... Yay. Okay. So that's how men work it out. <laughs> you didn't really talk about it. Man. You know, let's play some football. Rough and rough. That'll be good. It's cool that two huge groups meet there every week to play football. I know. I was about to say, like, I, you don't really see grown-ups, um, like, there's not really anybody doing that around here. Pick up basketball. But well, pick up ball. Who wants to do that? Do a thing. Slow pitch. Stick ball in Oklahoma. There's a lot of stick ball. I'm going to tackle some people. They've both been waiting a minute for that. <laughs> Wait a minute for that. I can finish later. <laughs> we can get to that later. My stomach growling. I heard it. But you ate good today. Oh, look at it this way. Oh, that's not a headline you want to see. That stadium is huge. That's cool. Why is How there a many tracker seats around are here? in there? That's where I don't know why there's a tracker on the field. Oh, oh, She's just like, yeah. I told you those fans are ruthless. Relax. <laughs> really? Shut your mouth. She's just agging it on. <laughs> Look, Look they're hiding their face. <laughs> Let's win one for us. Bring it in. I want to give an inspirational locker speech, mm. just locker room speech, just one time. Like with the music playing behind me, dramatic. Yeah, what is a like, cross country? Oh, look, he's reading it again. Like, what is a cross country track pump up? Run hard. No. <laughs> It's just run fast. Do give it your best. Oh, he ripped it up. But like the locker room setting's different. Like yeah. I want that locker room setting. Ours is out in the middle of a field right before it rains. <laughs> they know what to do. Cross country, you know what to do. Run. Those <laughs> are to have any shot today. They need to make a statement right here. Come on, Papali. Come on. I really want him to do good. <laughs> Mm. Hey, let's go. Good. Do it. Back inside their own 15. Yeah. Last week, what Papali could do, nothing right. What a form tackle, too. That that um little football game in the mud did something for him. Uh, the guys are starting to believe we're going. Can't believe we're going against the Giants, too, for it. <laughs> Yeah, that dynamic. Your boyfriend plays for the Eagles, but you're a Giants fan. Touchdown, Giants! Uh, we also need this win for the coach. I forget. This isn't just about our man. <laughs> Y'all need to control yourself better in the stands. Okay, so football makes me nervous because I've seen you take some hard hits. We've been in the hospital, okay, with you. So, like, this looks so intense. We've been in the hospital a couple times for your college football career. The knee don't count. Let's go, Papali. A brilliant open field tackle by Papali. His daddy. That's cool. Hard to get. God, they're just mauling him now. What's the score?
Talk about a blindside hit. I'm sure now they do a pad check, right, to make sure you have on all your pads before. You can't just decide, I don't want this. Yeah. Because of all the safety precautions now. Oh. For a go ahead score. Short. And they are short by inches. That stinks. With the decision to punt, but Verbeel not taking any chances here. Now hoping. Did the Eagles have an old field that I guess didn't know about that? A track around it? Draw down the comments. A huge play for both teams. No room for mistakes on either side. It's gotta be so stressful to. Like, I know it's stressful to be a coach, but at the NFL level, with his job on the line, they get every fired. play that he calls, yeah, that's got to be so stressful. <laughs> He's reading the knuckles. It appears the Eagles are calling a last second audible. Changing the They're changing the play? He's changing the... Oh, no. Are you allowed to do that? No, not normally. Looks like a, that was like a confusion right there. Oh, this is a dream scenario. Mm. Dang, yes. that was a nice hit. Nice. Oh, that is the shot that you dream about. Is he gonna get it too? As a gunner on punt. Oh come on, Vince. Are we gonna get a touchdown? Let's go. <laughs> Vince is fast though. He looks like he can outrun him. The 40. Mark Wahlberg played this well. The 20. The 10. His dad. His dad's probably so proud. Don't fall, Vince. Yeah. 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 I forgot he scored a touchdown. That is Philly a scene zone. right there. I love when grit and hard work wins. Like that's a moment for the rest of your life you will talk about and remember. <laughs> no. Oh, no cry. Goodness. I'm not gonna cry. to win a game and if i'm not mistaken vince played three seasons with the eagles yeah this is a true story yeah three seasons wow yeah i forgot to mention to you earlier that it was a true story i figured it was based on a true story i feel like most sports movies are in, nine, in the 1980-81 season, oh, Dick Vermeil led the Eagles. They went to the Super Bowl! Oh, Dick Vermeil. <laughs> oh. That was a hit. Vince Papali currently resides in New Jersey with his wife, Janet, and they just got married. To Can't that be. woman. Yeah. Oh, that was a good story. Was it not good? I it loved was awesome getting to see like so I remember my grandpa took me and my friend Todd to see this. I think we were in seventh or eighth grade. Uh -huh. And I have not seen it since. And oh, I feel the same way. You just have the you first time I see like it. Like, I, I, it's just such a feel good nostalgic story. Nostalgic too. Yeah, feel good, nostalgic. Like that is just such such a good story. Coming, like I said, from that 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 certain spot in Philly, that South Philly, where obviously, you know, they're a little more demographic, mm -hmm. they're probably a little more poverty. You know, they were all kind of counting and rooting for right. him. He had the whole South Philly on his back. Right. Like I, it's not just an underdog story. It it shows you what one person can do for an, that, an entire, entire group of people yeah, right and how and how a community can really rally and root for you i loved getting to see his relationship with his dad mm -hmm. and his dad being so proud and i love i love getting to see the real clips at the end i think they casted it 
<laughs> I think, of course, they casted and, it and, well. And, and Mark, 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 Mark Wahlberg, he looks like he could be an NFL type player. Yeah. I, I mean, a slot receiver, special teams guy, of course. Yeah. But one of my favorite parts was like right there at the end when the bartender said, "Kingy, that's your boy." Yeah. Right. And see, I guess, I guess for me, like I love underdog stories. My favorite athlete of all time, and I, I don't think a lot of people. Well, I think a lot of people would know who he is, but as a Ooh. runner in my community, he's such a big deal. Steve Prefontaine. Like, he was Tame. he was also kind of that story, just, like, very grit, just very hard work and, you know, kind of like that underdog story, but just went out there and did it. And so I love to see these stories because that was one that was so inspiring to me. I love talking about Steve Prefontaine. I have a whole book about this man, a whole book of quotes. So... I, I just, I love what it means to, I know what it means to have somebody like yeah. that and your sport and so seeing this, I think it's really cool. And then, you know, for all of them, you know, obviously he didn't, he didn't fit in, no one accepted him. And then right there at the very end, we showed him that. Everybody clip, that excited. Yeah. yeah. It's just such, such a dang good story. I, it feels really good to see it again. So thank you guys for reminding and dropping down in the comments and giving us all these amazing suggestions. I feel like I could talk all day about this one just because it is football, but I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. It. I enjoyed it because you got a little bit of that romance. Okay, now what movie did it kind of remind you of? It reminded me of Rudy. Of Rudy and like a mixture of Rocky because... You know, right, because of the inner city story. The inner city, where they come from to where they got. Right. They both it got was the a girl. mixture, right. But with Rudy, um, I it was like just like, it was the fact that he had made it, right? Yep. That was what, what was big. So I was kind of... It was really nice to see. Also, he didn't just make it to see that like that really big play at the end. He right. was scoring. It was fine. I liked it. Guys, thank y'all so much for the suggestion. As we always send you out of here, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. I remember every single day that you wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed. And for your new family members, hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome you guys to the RSR family. But y'all have a go every day just like we do. Let them know, Ma. All right, guys. All you got to do is make somebody smile. We love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.